Hey, my name is John and uh, thank you for watching. I'm going to be talking about solar panels in New Jersey today. Home solar in New Jersey, solar panel installers in New Jersey, and all things related. I'm going to be talking about how solar works. I'm going to be talking about uh, electric bill savings. Then I'm going to be talking about T-Rex, tax credits, and finally solar costs in, in Jersey. So let's talk about how does solar uh, actually work. So we have solar panels, which probably all you guys are looking at. Now, each solar panel, some of you may not know, is, is pretty big. It's kind of about 65 inches in height, which is um, you know more than five feet in height and about close to four feet in width. So those are big guys. But fortunately, they weigh very little. So these panels, even though they're large, they're pretty light, actually. When you put them up in a roof, there is no question of them damaging your roof or causing you know snow on them, big load. All of that is really not an issue. The other misconception I keep hearing about is, you know, solar panels, uh, these are big guys, they might end up damaging your roof. Which is again, if the installation is done by somebody who doesn't know what he's doing, bingo, it's, you're gonna have leaks in your roof. But today, all the people, companies who are, um, you know, doing solar in New Jersey, most of them have been in business for a while and they're, they're qualified, so professional installs are well done. Uh, the material, the engineering design, um, the actual hardware which is used to install solar panels on your roof, those are super highly engineered. You know, they they work so that the water flows away from any penetrations that are there uh, on your roof, and there are vacuum seals inside these too. So it's, you know, three four layers of protection. Your roof is going to wither away, but these guys, if they're properly installed, they're going to be no leaks. So continuing on the theme of uh, how does uh, solar actually work? Uh, so you've got these solar panels, and these solar panels are, you know, they're just like large batteries. The only thing is these batteries are powered by the sun. So you put them up on your roof, and they start producing power, and they produce the same kind of power like your battery, DC power. So you typically in a normal home in in jersey or, or anywhere for that matter you'll need between say 15 to 50 panels some homes may need more so be careful you you know solar panels on your roof is definitely not a you know job which you can do without prior experience better to leave it to the professionals uh, you know licensed electricians uh, especially those guys who are licensed to work on DC and on solar. So that's the panels. Now the panels are making DC current and that current needs to be converted for your home into AC. And that job is done by something known as an inverter. Now the options available in the market are essentially two. One is uh, you have a microinverter and the most popular are in phase. So these are small guys um, and each microinverter goes under each panel. So if you have 20 panels, you will have 20 microinverters attached behind each panel. And they convert the power, DC power from each panel into AC right there and there itself. And then from your roof down to where your main panel is, uh, where your main breakers are, a wire carrying AC current rushes is, is, goes into the panel and powers your home. The other option is that you get DC down from your roof and that DC goes down to a box on the side of your home, which is called a string inverter. You might have one or you might have two. And that's where all the DC current coming from the various panels, uh, they're sometimes called strings. So if you have say 25 panels, you could have two strings, one of 12 and one of 13 panels. So those two strings might come into one inverter or they could come into two separate inverters get converted into AC and then same way go into your main panel. You go for the DC architecture, the optimizer based one is better. Optimizers are basically, again, each with each solar panel we attach what's known as an optimizer behind it. The optimizer makes sure that the solar panel produces the most power regardless of conditions outside. You know, the sun's, if there's a little bit of shade or if there's, there's low sunlight, the optimizers make sure that your panels still produce as much power as they potentially could. Same job is done by your microinverters, but on top of optimizing, they also convert uh, power into AC. So that's your uh, the solar system uh, on your home in a, in a nutshell. While you're thinking about installing new solar, you're probably thinking about which solar panels to buy. And this is very confusing. There are so many brands out there, but uh, not too many of them that you really have heard of. So there are brands like Panasonic and LG 
which because of their uh, heritage and consumer products you probably heard of but there are many other really good companies now the thing to concentrate on is your manufacturers are they tier one um, typically most solar companies who are working in Jersey and you know when you look on online for quotes you'll get quotes for tier one panels make sure you get tier one panels easy way to ensure that you're getting great panels is to look at their efficiency if you look at their spec sheets you'll see efficiency number in the region of you know between 18 to 20 percent there as long as your panels are 19 percent or more and this is as of 2020 now you're in good hands the top solar uh, panel manufacturers uh, most of them like lg panasonic sunpower silfab Longi, hanwa q cells there are there are more um, um, you know these these guys have been making panels for many many years 25 30 years many of them and their panels are all equally good the difference between them is marginal but some of these panels they because of their brand names they might charge you you know 20 percent premium in my opinion it really doesn't make sense to pay too much extra for getting a brand name panel well, as long as the panels are over 19 percent uh, you, you you should be good you know the secret sauce to your solar systems production uh, is basically what's converting the dc from them into ac and that's where the microinverters of the optimizers come into play so as long as you're using microinverters from end phase or you're using optimizers from solar edge your panel given that it's a tier one and 19 percent plus you will have you know really good production uh, and this is true anywhere in the u.s now the rest of the system a lot of people do research in the rest of the system too which is what kind of wiring do you use what kind of racking system you know the solar panels when they go up on your roof typically what happens the installers they go on the first day and they they have a design which their uh, the engineering team would have given them tells them where to place the panels but before they place the panels they will put racking so these are like they're like railway tracks that go up on your roof and on and once they put the racking up they put either the microinverters on them or they put the optimizers in them some designs don't use optimizers they use a single string inverter directly i wouldn't advise going for straight string inverters those have lower efficiencies you know and the market has completely gone towards optimizers and microinverters today a 95 95 plus percentage the residential market goes with the, those technologies so stick with that so the racking goes up the microinverters or the optimizers go up then they're connected to your electrical system and the, the way the connections work is you know you've got wires working down when you have microinverters it's easy it's direct ac going down it goes down to a disconnect to a sub panel in the sub panel there's a measuring device which measures how much power your panels are making and then from there, uh, it goes directly into your main home. And most good installers nowadays, they do not even touch your main panel where your breakers are. They connect light right where the um, external wires come in from the power company. So it's called line side tap. Uh, they don't touch anything inside your main panel. So solar is completely, it's like as if you've got a different service coming to your home. Let's get into how solar uh, saves money. So in new jersey and pennsylvania solar saves you money with three things it saves you on your electric bill it saves you on a program known as renewable energy credits it's they're, they're called t-rex in jersey and they're called s-rex in pennsylvania and third thing they save you on is on your tax credits so let's get started with uh, electricity how how much the solar actually save you on on electric good news is that for residential electric bills solar can cut your electric bill down to almost zero only the line items which are like service charges they're the only ones which are not affected by solar everything is go going to go away it is very common for electric bills in jersey and pennsylvania to go down to four or five bucks a month when you plan and when you're looking at solar and, and you're doing your math assume that you know if you're spending 150 bucks a month today after solar you should be below 10 for sure this is assuming you have enough panels on your roof okay so and delivery goes away supply goes away all of it goes away um 
it's some people do ask me that are you sure delivery goes away are you sure supply goes away period everything goes away the only things which don't go away are the ones which are fixed like your service charge now here's the thing about uh, your electric bill after solar in the summer months you're definitely going to be seeing four or five bucks on your utility bill uh, after going solar in the winter you might see slightly higher bills because your solar doesn't produce as much in winter um, but usually if your system is sized right during the summer months your solar has produced excess power which has gone to the grid to your power company and then you're able to use that in the winter to offset your uh, the, the reduction in power from your solar system so that even during winter you could potentially end up with a 10 or 15 buck bill so well-designed solar system will give you low electric bills throughout the year if you're spending 2000 bucks today on electric after solar you should be spending about 120 bucks for the whole year big savings the second saving which is great in new jersey and you know makes it one of the best states to do solar is uh, the renewable energy credits here today they're known as trecs or transitionary renewable energy credits so the state of jersey pays you 92 dollars when you're for, for every 1000 units of power produced by your solar system a typical solar system can produce anywhere from you know 7000 kilowatt hours a year to maybe 25 30000 kilowatt hours a year and that means you get 7 T-Rex a year or you get 30 T-Rex a year if it's 30000 each T-Rex is worth 92 bucks so that's close to you know close to 800 bucks or close to 3000 bucks so when you're looking at savings from solar it's you know the, the savings they go up you could be saving 200 a month on your electric bill you could be earning another 200 or 150 from your t-rex on top of that you have the third saving which is your tax savings today in 2020 you get 26 percent off your federal income taxes as long as you're paying federal income taxes whether you're on a w-2 or you run your own business but you pay federal income taxes those taxes will be reduced by 26% of the cost of your system. So if your system costs 20,000, you'll get back 5,200 bucks, which is 26% of 20,000, hope the math is correct, from your taxes. So that's money to your bottom line. Now, many people ask me, so how, how do you actually evaluate if, if solar is a good investment? The, the math is pretty simple. Let's take a solar system which costs uh, let, let's say you have you start with an electric bill of about 150 bucks a month your usage will be in the region of eight to nine thousand kilowatt hours a year for that you'll need a solar system which maybe is about 7 kW that's the size of the solar system you'll need and when I say 7 kW that means about 25 panels on your roof okay and a system like that would be ballpark around about 20,000 bucks so you buy $20,000 solar system you're talking about buying this right now doesn't matter whether you're doing cash or you're getting it financed but you know you you own the system so 20,000 you've given away now you immediately are going to get back 26 percent um, of your solar system when you file your taxes that's 5200 bucks uh, and you get that back uh, at the beginning of uh, next year uh, when you're filing your taxes so January February of uh, 2021 Okay, so twenty thousand you've already you know got back fifty two hundred you got about fourteen thousand eight hundred left which is your net out of pocket. Now you'll be saving about and to make the math easy let's say you save entire hundred and fifty bucks on your electric bill it actually about a hundred and forty. So that works out to about eighteen hundred dollars a year you save on electric. Uh, you will be getting about another eight hundred bucks through your T-REC program in Jersey. Incidentally, in Pennsylvania, the, T, the, the REC program is not as good. Um, so instead of getting 900 bucks, you get a half of that or a little less than half. It's still pretty good. So between your T-REC income and between your savings on electric, you're getting 1,800 plus, maybe about 2,600 back uh, every year in savings and income. And you spent um, close to about 14,000 odd uh, on your solar system so if you look do the math and some of my numbers may be off right now because I'm doing it in my head but the usual payback period is between five to six years in Jersey if you're buying a solar system at uh, you know a good price 
in Pennsylvania, the payback period is usually in nine to 10 years. So getting into how much should you really be paying for solar? So today in 2020, prices are in the region and the way solar companies price uh, solar systems is, is by something known as a price per watt. And it usually in the, in the region of between $2 and maybe 35, 40 cents, uh, going up to $3.50 per watt. And you know, it's, a, it's an easy uh, calculation that can be done. Supposing you, you know, the solar company is offering you a system and they tell you you need 25 panels. And each panel, maybe it's a 300 watt panel. So you have 25 panels, each panel is 300 watts. If you do the multiplication 25 into 300, you get 7,500. So 7,500 is your size of your system in watts. And if you multiply that 7,500 by the price per watt quoted by the company, let's say it's three bucks. So that'll be three, 22,500. That'll be the cost of your system at three dollars a watt. Seven thousand five hundred watts into three dollars a watt, and it's twenty-two thousand five hundred. Pardon my math, but um, that's the way it works. Now, some of the more expensive or the better-known panels like LG and Panasonic they charge a premium. So, you might when you pay for those systems, the price per watt could be in the region of two ninety, three bucks, three dollars and ten. SunPower, which boasts of being the most efficient and the best in the business, they might charge you 340, 350 a watt. Like I said earlier, if you choose a panel which is 19% or more, go for value, go for a price. It's easy to negotiate and get a price in the region of 250 to 60 a watt. Um, there'll be big savings, so make sure you talk to your solar companies and ask them. You can always contact me right email my phone number is there in the description below i help people buy solar too i you know I, I work with many different solar companies i could get you deals which are better than others always available and that's it uh, i hope you've enjoyed this solar video for solar in new jersey solar panels in new jersey uh, thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe we'll be putting in more videos lots more good good content thank you and have a great day